audio input capture. Hey, we're doing it, we're doing it, we're doing it. Doing it and doing it and doing it well. All right, let's send out a quick notification. Sorry, chickity tap, chit chit choo choo. Yeah, so I'm live on Watch Mixer right now, creating an ammo crossing gyroid style lens using Snap Lens Studio and Blender. And a hyperlink would be good for the humans who read the, the tweeters. All right. Good, good, good. Uh, we are currently at zero viewers. That is the exact number of viewers that I have ex been expecting. And we're going to start by bringing up a picture of a gyroid. So let's have a look at that. Because this is something that I'm sure I can do. Here's the one that I saw earlier. Looks good. So now we're going to open up Blender. Blah. This should not be a difficult thing to make. So we're going to start by creating a... Um, we're going to add a mesh and we're going to add a cylinder. Uh, I'm going to tab into that cylinder and I'm going to select a face. Boop. Scoop boop ba -doo. We're going to switch to move and we're going to slide that face up to around the zero mark. Let's actually set it right to zero. So we can pop this open here. Uh, we'll set it to zero. Make sure that looks correct. Yep, good. So that's at zero. Uh, then we're going to take this one and we're going to slide it down here. Let's have a look at our gyroid. Good. Okay. So that is good. Now we're going to extrude that by hitting E and bringing it up. And then we're going to scale it out. All right, so that looks good. Uh, I'm going to bring it down a little bit, and then we're going to extrude it up again. Again, hitting E, and we're going to... So it comes up, goes out, and then tapers back in. So we're going to scale this one down to give that taper in. Okay, that looks good. Now we're going to extrude that right up. Boop. Okay, cool. Coolie, 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 coolio. Um, now, how big do we want them to be? That looks about right. Okay. And then this is going to be our front, I believe. Front, back, somewhere. Anyway. Um, so, uh, but what we're going to do is we're going to extrude that again. And we're going to scale that out. Cool. And then, you know what? I While I'm doing this... I'm gonna fire up some pretzel because I need uh, some pretzel music. Oh, I can just play it in my browser for now. Let's do that. Oh, I'm gonna switch that to the other screen so you don't see my codes. Good. Going to look here at some codes. Wicked. Submit that. Authorize that. Good. Now we have some pretzel music. Can you hear that? Is that too loud? Looks way too loud.
Okay, cool. I see my chat doesn't seem to be working uh, let's just make sure we sign in there waiting for it to sign in okay <laughs> it's not working something's weird here let's get rid of that Okay, I'm going to pop out the chat for now. Good. There. That's a little better. Okay, where were we? Uh, so we've got a gyroid. His hat comes out. Then it goes up a little bit and back in. So we're going to go up a little bit. And we're going to scale that in. Then we're going to go extrude that up a bit. Okay, so that's getting vaguely gyroid esque shaped. We got that, we got that, we got that. We do, do, do. Uh, let's give them a little mohawk kind of thing. So we're just going to look here front on and we're going to scoop it down. We got to figure out what we want our front to be. So it's going to be that. So let's grab a couple of these faces. We may have to subdivide this face a fair amount or split it. Um, Actually, I don't want to do that. Okay. Um, Actually doesn't look too too bad. What is going on there with that though? There's some there's definitely some weirdness. Okay. Uh, obviously I am not a fantastic 3D modeler, but we'll we'll do what we can here. Okay, so uh, let's tab out of this for now. And should we make it so that, let's see here. So he looks a little more squat than our guy. Also the hat comes straight. So let's, let's tab that out. Uh, we're gonna switch it over to point mode and we're gonna allow it to see through. We're gonna switch to bang on like that. We're gonna grab all of these guys and just Bring them flat like that. Good. That looks a little better. Yeah, that's cool. Okay, we can turn off that invisibility. Uh, let's create another um, cylinder. We're going to tab into that. We're going to scale everything down in that. And then we're going to move the bottom up to zero again. Oops. 
and we're going to tab out of it. Now we want to slide it over. Okay, uh, so we're going to actually scale the whole thing down. This is going to end up being our arm. Um, but what we're going to do is his arms uh, look like they have a couple of different joints there. Um, We'll probably add some bones for these, honestly. So first we're going to tab back into it. We're going to extrude this a couple of times. And then we're going to extrude it and kind of taper it off at the end. Good. Now we're going to scale the whole thing down. Gonna move it all down to about here and then we're going to set that back to zero good okay so that can be our arm so we're going to rotate that oops wrong axis wrong axis again at some point i will learn how to be a real developer a real boy Uh, and so we're going to call this his right arm. Right arm, right arm. This cylinder is going to be his body. Uh, I also like to go in and add body in there. Right arm, right arm. Okay. Okay, now we are going to duplicate this. Come on, you. We'll call this one left arm. And the left arm is going to come across over here, and we're just going to rotate that one. Negative 90. Uh, so what happens if we go negative one? That's fine. We're gonna do neg uh, we're gonna do positive one on this one so that they're at the same distance. Then what we're gonna do is uh, we may actually just uh, boolean all this stuff in, though that might be overkill for a lens. <laughs> uh, yeah. So there's our basic gyroid shape. Uh, we still need that kind of mohawky looking thing. Uh, oh, you know what we can do? Let's tab into this. We're just going to delete that face. Um, and then we're going to select all the things along the edge here. Oops, come on, you. You know, there's probably a shortcut for this that I don't know. you you good so when we fill that why does it do that why does it do that why does it do that Not quite what I wanted. Okay, before I get too far here, let's make sure that I actually save this thing. <laughs>
Come on, Clunker. Spin up. Did I clear off that drive? Or is it just taking forever to... Okay, I'm just going to create a new folder here. We're gonna... Oh, I already have a 3D folder here. Ah, okay. Let's do that then. Just waiting for that drive to not die. There we go. Whoa. There we go. Source 3D. Ooh, I don't want to do source, so I want source 3D. Good. And then we're just, we're just going to call this one gyroid. Okay. So now let's have a look at his face. Uh, so what we want to do is we want to look at him. Oh, you know what? And I want to bully and all this stuff together so that I don't have to deal with it. So we want the union, is that the way it works? With the right arm, apply. Okay, now if we hide the right arm, it should still be there. Good. So now we wanna take the body and we wanna add a modifier, Boolean union with the left arm. And let's apply that. And then we should be able to hide the left arm and possibly even delete it. Good. See, now they're all part of one thing. And it got rid of all my extra junk in the middle. All my extra junk in the trunk. Cool. Now... Uh, we want to switch into, wait, I think we can do it this way. Oh man, I am not good at modeling. <laughs> I'm doing my best here. <laughs> Just doing a quick look up here. Because we need to add in our bones. Look at the bones. Funny, I knew how to do this in the old one, and now I'm like completely lost. Oh, here we go.
Why am I having such a hard time finding this now? I haven't done this in 2.8 yet. Panel. Armature viewport display. Oh wait, there we go. Well, there's armature, but where's the thing to... Why am I not able to do this? I know I've had this problem before and I am not smart about it, but. Yeah, I thought it was in... Sorry, I am... See, this is the part of the day <laughs> where I actually start to feel bizarre anxiety because I'm like, I should know this, but... So, add. Do I have to be in the other mode? Add. Oh, there it is. Okay, so now if I go into the armature and I tab in, I should be able to select the bone and that's right. Okay, good. So now if I go front, oh. Oh, I'm so... There we go. Okay, so from here, now we want to extrude to here, extrude to here, extrude to here. And same thing here. We're going to extrude up to the middle of this. Then we're going to extrude to this line. Then we're going to extrude to this line. Good. Uh oh. Hmm. Well, that'll do for now. Okay, so that gives us our basic skeleton for this. Um, so now we should be able to select the skeleton tab in and on each one of these uh, we should be able to go into a, like a weight paint mode. If I can remember how to do that.
so we need to assign the armature to the body first. Let me figure out how to do that. For all you modelers out there, this must be embarrassing to watch. Okay, so we're going to do this. In object mode, right click the model, then right click the shift. So we're going to shift that in. Uh, armature with automatic weights. Okay, let's try that now. So now, if we go into armature mode and we rotate this guy, nothing will happen. Interesting. Oh, there we go. Now that we're in pose mode, that's, that's better. So if I rotate this guy, come on, work. Yes! I knew I could do it. Hey! Okay, so a couple things. First of all, uh, if I go into the body, uh, and then we're going to select Wow, uh, so we're in edit mode. We're going to select some of these points. We are going to go into this mode. I have a look here. So one thing I notice is that his hat, the brim has kind of like Yeah, that looks a little closer. I like the way that worked out better. Mm, cool. Okay. So let's uh, go back into pose mode.
And we're going to take the rotation of that back down to zero. Oop, not that. Okay, and same with this guy. So we're going to apply this pose as the rest pose. And now, yeah, so that should... Good, there we go. So now all of these are our defaults. So that way, so basically all applying it as the rest pose does is that if the bone was slightly turned to one angle or another, um, when I go to look at it in um, Lens Studio, it's actually going to show up as um, kind of zeroed out at this position, while as before I applied it as the rest pose, you would have gotten weird numbers here and there. So... That's cool, that's cool, that's cool. Uh, so, what else now? What else do we need to do? You know what? So, on the basic model, I'm gonna create one material and then I'm gonna use the person's eyes. I'm gonna use your own eyes and your own mouth as the eyes and mouth on this. So, yeah. So that'll be weird, but cool, maybe, possibly. I'm not gonna give him the little mohawk, but uh, maybe I'll make it so that when you tap it, he changes his arm pose. And when you tilt your head, um, so let's just go back into pose mode here. What would happen if you tilt this? Oh, yeah, see? So that'll give that a little bit of a wiggle when you tilt your head. That's fun. I like that. Cool. Cool. And then maybe we'll make it so you can change the color of your gyroid. All fun things. All fun things. I like that. Okay. So uh, let's get rid of the camera. And let's get rid of the light. Uh, let's add that material. That's not materials. Where's my material? Where are my materials at? There we go. Okay, uh, so we're going to call this one body for now. Whoops, we're going to take my caps lock off before we do that. Body, yaddy, yaddy. Good. Uh, we're going to select all our faces. We're going to assign that. I always like a nice kind of greenish color. Oh, the other thing I want to do is we're going to shade all of these smooth. Just to give it a little bit more of a gyroidy sort of look. Good. Let's save that. We're going to export that as an FBX. And we're going to call that gyroid FBX. And it is time to go into... Hollands a studio.
So. We got Lens Studio kicking up. We are going to create a new project. What time are we at? Three o'clock. So we got about an hour left. Uh, so we're going to import, there's a UI kit. Um, oh, you know what? It was on the opening window. Let's save this, actually. We're going to save this. I wonder if we'll get in trouble if we call it gyroid. I'm going to call it gyroid. I don't care. And we're going to import that. Um, oh, where did where did I export that? Oh, it, I exported it into my 3D objects in my source. There we go. Okay, we're going to grab that gyroid. We're going to put him right in front of the camera. Zap, zoop, zabow. Uh, I'm going to scroll out because obviously that is way too huge. Uh, we've got a little bit of weird banding in there, which I'm not a huge fan of. But I can fix it up later. Let's just start with this. So um, we're going to grab the gyroid. We're going to move them using the unified tool out this way. Whoops, didn't mean to rotate. Okay, uh, and then we can actually go into his armature right now. Um, and, oh, I should have named these bones. <laughs> not smart, not smart, my friend. Okay, and then off this one. Cool. Um, and then let's take a really nice, like Animal Crossing style background. So let's have a look here and just see. Uh, so what would constitute a nice, so we've got that nice sky and grass and the grass is all triangular. Uh, so so on the camera, um, the render target is there um, and the render target comes in from the device camera texture. Um, Let's just clear that. And let's make our clear color a nice sky blue. Good. And then underneath the gyroid, we're going to create a um, just a quad, like a 3D plane. And like, I wonder if we should scale this guy down and bring him a little closer. Whoops. Okay, let's make a material um, for that plane. We're just gonna make a simple uh, PBR material. We'll make it kind of a grassy color to start. Okay, 
we're just going to call this grass for now and we're going to drag that over to the plane uh, that's very reflective which actually might be kind of cool maybe he should be on a reflective plane Or maybe not. All right, where are you at, Gyroid? Let's bring you closer. There we go. That's better. Yeah, we're going to have to smooth out that gyroid a lot. But we can scale them up a little bit. Cool. Okay, so now we're going to add... Um, some face effects uh we're gonna take a face inset see there we got a mouth Okay, so now let's see if we can take that face inset, view the 3D scene, and find out where that thing is. So we're going to try and take that face inset and put it on the 3D object. We're going to view the 3D scene. Okay, yeah, that's weird. Let's just take that right off there. We're going to set this to zero, zero, zero. There we go. Set that to 90. We're going to bring this guy up. Oh, there it is. That's the biz. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So that we're going to call this mouth. Then we're going to duplicate that, and this is going to be right eye, right eye, right eye. Okay. And we're going to move that. Whoops. We're going to move it. So let's just switch to our move tool so we're not doing this unified stuff. And we're going to scale that up a bit, I think. Let's make, give you some big eyes. Okay. And we're going to duplicate that. And we're going to call this one left eye. And we're going to slide the left eye over. That's not what I'm looking for. 
That's also not what I'm looking for. That's what I'm looking for. All right. If I switch to my camera, I should be a gyroid now. Or I could completely crash it. Cool. So let's switch to someone opening their mouth. Wow. Cool. So we've got a couple of scaled eyes. Um, we've got the grass. Let's um, make ourselves a nice. Um, let's make ourselves a nice 512 by 512 uh, repeating grass texture. Um, and then we're going to take and we're going to make a little square here, a little triangle, I mean. Okay, and actually, oh, that'd be better as a brush. Oh, whatever. Good, so we've got some little triangles there. We're going to space them out a little bit. Okay, cool. So we're going to group, uh, and actually I want to make one of these a little darker than the other one. And same with these guys. Cool. Now we're going to take all of these and we're going to duplicate them. We're just going to drag them around here. And make our Animal Crossing style grass out of this. And again, we're not doing it ex exactly. It has to be different enough that they're not going to sue my behind off. Still wondering if maybe I should not call it gyroid. I can hear my kids playing Wii in the background. They're having fun. And maybe it'll be fun to have a little bit of overlap on these. In here and there. Good enough. All right, let's save that texture. Let's we'll call it grass. And we're going to import that. I think I put it on the desktop. And then we're going to cut down the... Um,
That's weird. Does it have simple reflection on it, or what's going on? That that should not be. Oh, there we go. Where's my directional light? Let's add a new directional light so that we get a little bit of shadow here. should be good. I don't know why we're not. Oh, that's why. That's a directional one. So let's rotate that guy. grass one we want his shadow mode to be receiver There we go. Good. Now we can actually have your shadow show up. All right, so we're going to close this down for a sec. Uh, and then we're going to download this touch of interactivity thing. Uh, so now we're going to go back into our gyroid. And this body color is white. We'll set, if we set it white by default, actually, let's make it kind of a grayish. I got to fix those normals. Oh, they're so ugly. Okay.
got to be a way to get rid of that weird bending in there. That's what I'm looking for. Oh, that's so much better. Oh, that was so terrible before. Okay. Let's export that. I knew there was a setting I was missing. Now if we go into Lens Studio, we should be able to go to the gyroid and update from source. And nothing. Let's relink it to a new source. Go to our source 3D gyroid open. Why is it still messed up? I'm deleting the whole thing. Yeah, he still looks messed up. That's weird. Must be a setting I'm missing. just check the settings here okay we're gonna export it as a separate one this is really bizarre. What textures do we have here? Base and white. Okay. Regenerate. I don't want to regenerate the normals. There we go. See? I knew there was a way to get this in here that it didn't look like butt. And actually, there might be another way to do this too, so that when it bends the face, if we assign, okay, so let's just move him into the place we want him first. Okay, that's good. 
can he scale up? Why is his arms not? Oh, his arms are showing? They're just showing along the horizon line right now. <laughs> Silly. Um, we can probably scale him up just a little bit. Whoops. Okay, that's good for now. Now, um, there should be a head bone here. Okay, so if we take the mouth, left eye, and put them there, then when we bend this, yay! That looks good, okay. I mean, not good, but you know what I'm saying. So let's turn it back to the body uh, mesh being a shadow caster. Shadow density one. Uh, let's switch our light um, so that it casts in the other direction. There we go. Uh, and I don't know why there's a why is there a gap in my shadow there? That's weird. Give it just a... Whoa, what happened to my screen? There we go. Okay, weird. Okay, so now let's um, take that body material, body yaddy yaddy, um, and let's turn it to white to start, or that kind of grayish that I had before. Good. We're going to save this. And so we're going to tie a couple things together now using script. Uh, first, we are going to add new import, go to our desktop and get that UI thing. UI resources, textures, materials, hints. OK, good. It's adding it. This screen transform is not a part of a valid screen hierarchy. Blah, 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 blah. This is placed under an orthographic camera. So we're going to add a new ortho camera. Ortho layer. Get rid of the default. Um, and we're going to change that to orthographic. And we're going to place that right there. Boop. Good. So now um, we are going to get rid of that tap hint. Um, we're going to get rid of the UI rounded button, UI button, uh, UI toggle. We're going to leave the color picker. And the color recipient is going to be this guy. Nope. This guy. And uh, let's make the gyroid body a shadow caster. Oh, you can't make it a caster and a receiver. Uh, and then on the armature, um, we are going to, uh, so let's get into scripting because we're almost done here. All 
All right, so we've got textures there. Let's just drag some of these textures into the textures folder. Um, let's drag the gyroid out of the textures folder. Um, we're gonna create a new folder called materials. I just wanna do a little bit of housekeeping here. So we're gonna move the grass in here. Um, and then we're gonna go into the gyroid and we're gonna take his material and put it in here. And we're going to rename this head bone, and we're just going to call this the head. Good, just so that some of them are actually named. Uh, and then this one here, if we rotate it, what happens? Okay, that's not the one we want. So we're gonna call this one right arm bone. We're gonna call this one right arm. And we're gonna call this one spine. And we're gonna call this one left arm. We're going to call this one left arm bone. Just a little bit of housekeeping. Left elbow. And we're going to call this one right elbow. Okay, so now we're going to add a new folder. We're going to call this one scripts. or we're gonna call it scriptas. There we go, scripts. We're gonna add a new script in here. And we're gonna call this one, you know what? Let's add a new helper script, because I bet you if we add behavior, we can do this all with behavior. Right, so we've got our behavior script. So what we're gonna do is on the left elbow, we're gonna add a behavior script. Right, and on touch event tap, um, we are gonna um, set rotation. And the object to rotate is ourself. Oh, can we toggle? doesn't seem to work very well, does it? No, I mean, it's going to be better off with a custom script here. We're just going to call it tap to dance for now. Uh, and we're going to add in, so I'm just going to do a quick uh, we're going to open that in brackets, see if that works. Nice, it did work. Okay, so So we're going to go um, tap event equals script dot, oh yeah, I'm just going to look it up. <laughs> it's been a while since I've done events, like three days. <laughs> All right, script events. Uh, so we want a tap event so is 
Sorry, I'm just looking it up on the other screen here. Hey, who's there? Who there? Yes, I am uh, making a Snapchat filter uh, based on um, a gyroid from um, uh, based on a gyroid from what's its name? Uh, Animal Crossing. Uh, should be done very soon. I'm getting very close here. There we go. Okay, good. Now I can see the chat all the time. Perfect. Uh, all right. So we want under the scripting uh, API. There we go. Okay, so uh, we just want a um, we want a tap event. They have one right here that I can just steal. Much simpler. Uh, so, and we're gonna do uh, two inputs. So we're gonna go input, um, and then. Uh, Scene object uh, left arm and right arm, and then uh, script dot we're going to do a left transform equals script dot um, left arm dot get transform and then we're going to do the same thing for the right arm and call it right trans there wait a okay so uh and then we're going to go um uh, we're going to create a var that is left arm up equals false and on tap left arm up equals not left arm up so that'll toggle it um, if your left arm is up we're going to do this else we're going to do something else good uh, so this will and i like to use um, tap event and we'll bind it there good okay uh, so if left arm up uh, whoops we're going to do left transform dot set local uh, let me see, make sure I'm getting that right here transform there we go all right so um, we are going to set local rotation But I thought there was a way to do it. Okay. So yeah, we are going to set local rotation. Um, and then we just need to figure out what that quaternion is, uh, which we should be able to do from. Good, so we should be able to do set local rotation quat dot from Euler angles, Euler angles, ah, anyway. Um, and we're gonna do the same thing with the right transform. And this is just gonna toggle them so that he goes whoop, 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 whoop. <laughs> And 
And for, for now, we're just going to zero these. Actually, um, we're going to do input uh, vec3 um, left arm up and left arm down. And then we're going to do a right arm up and a right arm down. So uh, now we can just say So yes, if the left arm is up, then the left arm is going to be up across all three of these. And the right one is going to be uh, right arm down. And the same thing here, we're going to take this and uh, that's going to be uh, left arm down. Oops. And right arm up. Okay, let's have a look at that. So uh, we are going to, we'll set that on the body for now. Uh, just tap to dance. Um, and our left arm is going to be our left elbow. Yeah. And our right arm is going to be right arm, right elbow. Um, tap to dance line 24. So let's have a look at that script. Oh, see, we're missing a Z here. Let's try that again. All right, let's reload this. We're going to clear this. Reload and see what our error is. Un undefined, not callable, get transform of object, object. Did I not do get transform correctly? Oh, yep. It's lowercase g. Reload. Okay. So if right elbow is angled down like this, so let's make that 65 on the Z, and that's down, and then negative 65 would be up probably. Good. That's all we need to change. So that's our right arm. So what we're going to do is on body, uh, we're going to go left arm up is, is 65 and negative 65. And same thing here. Uh, right arm up is 65 and negative 65. Let's see what happens. Whoop, 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 whoop. Okay, that's obviously not what we want, but it's close. See, that's weird because that is, that's what I put in.
That's really weird. Um, okay, so did I set local? Set local rotation, set local rotation. What happens if we set global on that instead? This is really weird. Tap seems really slow. Okay, so what happens if we set these down? Is definitely left transform is setting left arm up, left arm up, left arm up. Right transform is setting right trans is equal to script right arm get transform. Right arm up, right arm up, right arm up, left arm down, left arm down, left arm down. Definitely something weird going on here. Okay, well, my left arm seems to be working. There we go. Oh, I know why it's not working. It's detecting double clicks. I need to disable the double clicks. Ah, yes, yes, yes. Um, to do this before. Where was that glow? There was a master API and or something like that where uh, global properties maybe? There we go.
Okay, so in our script, we need to add this in. Uh, so enable full screen touches. Now should go a little bit faster and not try and double tap the screen. We can adjust our color along here. Oh, I see what's happened. We actually have Okay, that's cool. Uh, now, one other thing that I want to do is I just want to add in a couple of floating things. Maybe some clouds that go by. Oh, yeah. Um, and so we also want your left arm is not up to begin with. So let's set this off. Whoops. Off the top. Oh, so we need to figure out what the angle of your head tilt is. How are we going to do that? There should be a really easy way, I think. Hmm. So I think if we just add in a So we've got a head binding there. Let's see what um, information we can get off the head binding. Okay, so let's create a new script. And we're gonna call this uh, head tilt bind. Now we'll open that with an external editor. And we're gonna go input component.head. We'll just call that head. Okay, and then um, and we're going to input scene object, uh, and this is going to be our um, gyroid head. Good. Okay, uh, and then. Um, Uh, we're going to do an update on this, I think. Okay, so oh, we're going to do variable head transform equals 
um, script.head.getTransform. And then we're just copy that. And we're going to go gyroid head transform equals script dot gyroid head dot get transform. Good. Uh, now we want an update event so that they're synced all the time. So I'm just going to copy this right off that page there. Um, and then I like to call this D event. We'll bind that. We don't need this stuff. And we don't need this stuff. And we're going to go gyroid, gyroid head transform dot set local rotation. And we're going to do it to head transform dot get local rotation. And just for giggles, we're going to see how that works right off the top. Uh, so on this head binding, we're going to bind this to that. And then we're going to bind the head bone to that. And already I can see it tilting. Oh my god, it worked. I mean, never doubted it. That's how I roll. <laughs> Let's see. Okay, when I turn my head, it's a little weird. Okay, let's get those clouds in there. Hi, Maven. How's it going? Good. I'm just lying down in here. Good. Look at the cloud over there. Is it? Yeah. I'm really tuckered out. You're tuckered out? Yeah. Playing too much Wii? No. I was jumping on the trampoline. Oh, fun. I did 100, 530 jumps before I got too tuckered out. I am making a new lens. Oh, can I a bit more pointy, maybe? Um, sure. I'll be up in a couple minutes. Okay. Love you. I probably should have a tree in the background too.
and we're going to make a gyroid skin. And let's import that just to give it a little bit of texture. Not that we ever unwrapped it or anything, but we'll see how that works. Um, so off our material body, gyroid skin will be our base texture. Whoops, I don't wanna do that. There we go. Let's add a base texture. Now it isn't quite as... All right, my love of Animal Crossing is really showing through now. Oh, Darken looks really good. Overlay doesn't look good. Ooh, let's set the left and right eye to subtract as well. Let's try all three of them on some a couple different ones. Pin light? No. Nope. Honestly, just darken would probably be the best. Except on black. See, difference works on everything, but so does exclusion, but it doesn't look good. Actually, pin light's not too bad because that works on everything. Oh, not everything. Yeah. Glass does not look good. Alpha test not good. Intense. Meh. Nah. 
I, you know, honestly, just Darken seems to be the best one. Okay, cool. That's enough playing with that one. You know, honestly, though, Darken might not be enough for some of these colors. <laughs> no, that's good. <laughs> oh, that's so silly. Okay. Um, and then you can tap to dance. Okay, I gotta finish up here really quick. Let's get these clouds going. We'll just call this a cloud mover. Uh, we're gonna open that in an external editor. Float start X. And an end X. Uh, okay, good. Now what we're going to do is we are going to, in our textures, we're going to add new and import that uh, funky cloud I did. Uh, we are going to add a couple of planes here, just the scene. And this new one we're going to call a cloud. And we're going to move, attach a cloud mover to that. Let's see where it is. Here it is. Cool. So we want those to go by in the background. So if we probably start them at 100 and then let them go to a negative 100, that'll be good. Okay, cool. So uh, on the cloud mover, um, we're going to set this one speed to negative 1. Um, actually, we'll negative 10. And then our start x is going to be 100. Our end x is going to be negative 100. Cool. Then we're going to do the um, same thing as on the head tilt. We're going to have an update event. We're going to name this one update event one just because I found that there is some collision occasionally. Um, and then we're going to uh, script.transform. Set local position. Um, and we're just going to go. There we 
we go. We'll just call that trans. Uh, that way we don't have to do this script transform set local position. So we can go trans set local position. Um, trans dot x plus script dot uh, actually let's just go new x equals uh, script dot speed times um, event data delta time, I think it is. That should keep it running more or less at the same speed. Let me just make sure I've got that right thing. Yeah, event data dot get delta time, like that. Um, so now it'll be uh, set local position new x. Oh, do we have to set it as a vec three? I think we do. Oops. So we're gonna set our new x there. Uh, and then it's going to be trans.y and trans.z here. Scoobity doobity da. And then, oh, and we need a semicolon there. And then if. Um, new x is less than end x. Um, actually, let's do this before this. Then new x equals script dot script type dot start x. And this should have a script in front of it. And just for the sake of completion, if new x is greater than script dot start x, start wix, there we go. Okay, so now in theory, where's Lens Studio? Did it crash? Did I crash Lens Studio? Oh, Lens Studio. Why do you hate me, bro? I think I saved recently, though. Hopefully. Yeah, that looks good. Let me just check my uh, my texture, see if my cloud's in there. Yeah, cloud's in there. Uh, so let's um, create a new material. And we'll make it a simple PBR. We'll just call it a cloud. Uh, and then our texture is going to be that cloud. And did we actually add a cloud in this one? No. So we're going to add a new um, plane. And we'll call this one cloud. And we're going to set this to 100. And we're going to set that to zero.
Good. So... It does not like that cloud mover script. What did I do wrong in that cloud mover script that it's so... Okay, we're going to save this right now. Now we're going to recreate the steps. Cloud goes there. Material is cloud. Okay, there's my cloud. Let's scale it up a bit. Oops. Okay, we're gonna save it all the way it is right now. Project saved. So when we add our cloud mover to this, gah, son of a. <laughs> all right, it is definitely crashing. Come on, it's 421. I'm so close on this silly gyroid. I wonder if instead of tapping that, if it should just automatically dance every now and then. I like tapping it. I like to have a little control over my effects. Okay, so we know it's definitely something in the script. So we're gonna do negative 10, our start X is 100, our negative 100. Okay, that works. Okay, so let's have a look at our scene object. Let's try this. So first we're gonna put that in. 
crash, no crash, no crash. Okay, my transform equals my scene object in transform. Crash, no crash, good. Okay. Okay, so we're getting not a number on our transform there. Okay, so our delta time's working. Oh, of course, you can't just get the x position of your transform. Uh, so what we want is we want var um, Let's just set it here, var new x equals trans dot get local position. Because really our new x uh, and then we're just going to add it here. Okay, I see what I did wrong. So Transform, set local position, new x. Good, let's get rid of that. Uh, sometimes when you're hurrying, you make mistakes. And sometimes when you're not, you still crash your thing. Okay, new x equals transform, get local position. Oh, let's see if we've made this completely un unopenable now. Yep. So it doesn't like that set local position for some reason. Yeah, so it works without that. I'm going to check that set local position because that might be my issue. Because maybe it's... the new VEC3 or something? Oh, 
New Vec 3, yeah. Oh. Ugh. Okay. Again. New X equals trans dot get local position. So dot X. So it isn't this trans. Okay, let's actually get this working. Trans get local position. So we want um So we want our original Z. Uh, so original position equals trans get local position. Oh man, why am I messing this up so much today? Okay, so we want original position.y and original position.z here. Our new vector x, so new x equals x. Um, Okay, and identifier transformer is undefined, uh, so that can go back to being trans. And save. <sighs> that was a lot of work for something that should have been done very simply. So now, when that cloud gets to negative 100, it should... So our second cloud now... Um, we're going to unify that. We're going to move it back and over, and we're going to scale it up a bit. And we'll make that one move negative 8. And then we're going to have another third cloud that is lower and further into the distance. And that one's going to be negative 14. Uh, there's something wrong with our transparency, obviously. So let's just check that on our material here. There. Those don't need lighting. They don't need tone mapping. Okay. And then we're just going to set on all these clouds. Um, Just so that we don't have as much pop in. There we go. That seems to be better.
And you know what? We probably should add an audio effect. So let's add a new audio effect. I can't hear the audio effect on that. Let me turn down the music one sec. That's a pretty gyroidy sounding thing. And it has, the effect preset has the name animal in it so that's fun all right we'd be done except for a couple things so first of all we need to take um so on project info we're going to add a lens preview Uh, we're going to add a hint to tap. Um, we're going to apply that. We're going to save this. And then we're going to open up. I wonder if that UI goes away when you. Anyway, we'll figure it out. Uh, so we're going to create a new 320 by 320 for the icon. Uh, then we're going to place embedded. Um, and on my desktop, I should have. Oh, uh, see, yeah, it's. Okay, so we're just going to do this. We're going to do the yellow one. Uh, and then we're going to hide this color picker and do a screenshot. Okay, screenshot saved. We're going to re-enable that. And then we are going to get rid of this old one. We're going to file place embedded. Okay. And then um, we're going to take this blue and we're going to put that in, on the background. And then we're going to take this um, grass off here. So we're just going to rasterize this layer. And I'm just going to grab a little chunk of this. And we're going to edit. Free transform and scale it out. Whoops. Just for simplicity's sake. Oh, and then what we need to do is we need to copy that over. And we're going to 
edit, transform, flip that horizontally. Good. And then we're just going to pop some holes through that so that... So if we fit that on the screen and we save it as our icon, we're going to call this gyroid and we're going to remove that icon. We're going to choose an icon and we're going to put in the gyroid icon. That looks great. We're going to apply it. And ladies and gentlemen, we are done let's publish that lens because it is after 4 30 my working day is done baby Some good tags. Yay! All done. And that, with that, um, I will post links on my Twitter and wherever, and send it out. And hopefully, everyone has fun with it. Whoop whoop. Okay, done.